Hi everyone. Happy Friday and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Tonight we're doing our prep for our cocktail corner that I host over on Facebook. And uh, we're starting off with a snack and then we'll do a beverage. And uh, we're getting, uh, this is the first weekend in February, so Valentine's Day is coming up. So tonight I'm focusing on strawberries, very popular fruit for Valentine's. So we're gonna start off with a Cristini with balsamic strawberry and ricotta. So we're gonna start with the strawberries. Now I've already diced up a bunch of uh, strawberries. This is basically a half a cup that goes into this recipe. And here's this one strawberry left I haven't done yet. I want to show you an easy way to hull your strawberry. So right here, I've taken the green leaves off and you can see in here that there's like a, the bit of a stem that the leaves were attached to. So what you do is you take a straw and you're gonna shove it up the strawberry towards the center up here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm pushing it through, okay? And what it does is it basically takes the hull out of the center, you see the hole there, and then you can just go like this, and there's the whole hull. <laughs> so that, that's a really quick, easy way to remove the hull, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dice this little guy up. So I just kinda cut it, for what, what I did, I just kinda cut across the equator, the, um, from top to bottom, and then I'm just gonna slice it into thin strips and then dice it. Now, you know, strawberries are delicate, so you don't wanna smoosh them with your knife. You wanna kinda, I'm hardly putting any weight on this. I'm just kinda gliding my knife through and I'm going in this kind of a direction so I don't smoosh. If you were to go like this, you would crush it. So you want to be slicing at like this angle, this kind of motion. And now I'm going across to create the little tiny cubes. Okay, that's one half, and I'm gonna do the other. So again, I'm slicing this direction. And here. You know, here in, here in New York uh, today, it is super, super cold. I hear that it is going to get down to a low of seven degrees. Uh, we don't have any precipitation, so we're not gonna get any snow, but it's gonna be darn cold. And when I was coming home from work, the wind was really blowing. So it's gonna be a very chilly night tonight. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoop that into my bowl. Now, another thing about strawberries is that they do tend to weep. So if you're making this recipe, and you find that your um, strawberries are getting very wet, you may wanna like lay them out on a paper towel. The thing that's gonna happen with this is that if it gets too wet and you put it on your toast, it's gonna kind of seep through. So that, and that's not gonna be really great. So I would assemble everything kind of at the last minute too. Okay, so here's my strawberries in the bowl. And what I'm adding to it this is a teaspoon of lemon zest. So we're gonna mix that into it. That's gonna add a nice bright flavor to those strawberries. And you know, strawberries are very fragrant. They have a lovely taste and they smell wonderful. So I'm mixing that together. The other ingredient here is, this is two teaspoons of brown sugar. So that's gonna be our sweetener. We're gonna mix that in, like I say, Sugar also tends to make um, the strawberries uh, more wet. So you wanna uh, do this all at the last second. Okay, so now we've mixed that together. All right, now what I'm doing for toast is I pick this up. I live in a Greek neighborhood. I live in Astoria, so I live in the, it's the old Greek neighborhood. And uh, one of the Greek stores up at the top of my block has these little toasts. And I think my supermarket might have things like this too. These are, are good size ones. So they're like, like this size. So this is a really nice platform 
to put things on and uh, you know if you're doing spreads or different kinds of uh, dips this is this is a nice alternative to a cracker so I've got a couple here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ricotta nice ricotta cheese and we're gonna spread that onto our toast I got some nice uh, classical guitar music in the background. I always like on Friday nights, you know, when I'm relaxing, I like to have some music on and uh, create a little atmosphere for myself. You know, I always put um, a flower arrangement on the table and I, I'm a big fan of the flameless candles. So I like to put flameless candles on the table. Okay, so again, I'm putting the, just spreading the ricotta onto my toast. And I'm also, again, using the back of my spoon kind of as a spreader. I find that is a really good way to kind of spread things out without making a huge mess. Okay, and one more. See how this goes. I may I may end up making some more t more toasts, but um, this is a really nice combination of tastes. And we're and we're gonna have a little surprise at the end to make it really pretty. Okay, so there's our there's our toast. Okay, let's put this to the side. Now we're gonna take our strawberries that we mixed. Okay, and we're gonna put that on top top of our toes. So it looks like this. <laughs> it's a little, it's, you're kind of falling. That's funny. Okay, here we go. And we got two more. Maybe I should do it over top of the bowl. Okay. And one more. Oh yeah, well, okay, I could probably get five out of this, but I'm gonna start with four. Okay, so this is this is how it looks, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the balsamic vinegar glaze. Okay, so this this is what this looks like, okay? This, this stuff is great. I really like to put this on top of mozzarella, on top of tomatoes, on top of salads. It's really, it's a thick, it's, and because it's reduced, it has a slightly, it's tart, but sweet. So I'm gonna kind of drop the drops of this on here. I'm not sure if I can actually make a little bit of a drizzle but it's probably going to be more like little drops. Okay. Well, this one could have a little more. There. Okay. So this is our crostini with strawberry, with ricotta, and a balsamic glaze on top. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put this to the side and then we'll get started on beverage. Okay, let's put this over here. Okay, and like I said, tonight's a night of strawberries. So we're going to do a, you know, I've been, uh, I'm on my diet. I want to lose some weight for my vacation that's coming up in May, so I'm going to be trying to stay good. And tonight we're making a skinny white wine cocktail with strawberries. So we start with a glass. Now I've got a tall Pilsner glass, and it happens to be an etched glass. I really liked 
the shape of these glasses and I like to have them have some kind of decoration on them. These are really great glasses for champagne, for beer, for wine, for cocktails. Uh, I really use these a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take some chopped strawberries, okay? And we're gonna drop this into the glass. Now this is probably like about maybe three, three strawberries that I chopped in here. We'll see how that goes. That, uh, that might be enough. Okay, I, can, I have a little leftover so I can add more later. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to this. So I think um, maybe like a, a teaspoon. Lemon always adds a nice bright flavor to things. Okay, now we're going to add, uh, what makes it skinny is that it's not entirely wine. So we're going to only add two ounces. So I'm going to add shot glass. This shot glass is two ounces. So I'm adding two ounces of white wine. Okay. And we're going to fill the rest of it up with a zero calorie, zero sugar. Let's see, it does have calories. Okay, so for this whole bottle, it has five calories. So this is, uh, the product is called Sparkling Ice and they have many different flavors. Um, let me put one over here, grab one of these over here. I got a couple different ones. Uh, this one is like a kiwi strawberry one. I got one that is a coconut pineapple one. So I'm gonna be experimenting with these to make lower calorie cocktails for me. Okay, so this particular one is lemon lime. So we've added, so far our two ounces of wine, um, a teaspoon of lemon juice, some chopped strawberries, and then we're just gonna fill the glass with sparkling lemon lime. Well, that looks really fun. See some of it fell down to the bottom, I like that. And uh, we're gonna garnish it with a strawberry at the top. Okay, all right. So there is my skinny white wine cocktail with strawberries. I'm wishing you a great weekend. Uh, please, if you're having uh, fun watching the videos, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, I'll see you over on Facebook. Stay warm this weekend and have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Take care.